Hello friends, after a long time I am back with some update regarding CBSC evaluation of class 10 and 12 uh, regarding which the Education Minister uh, Honorable uh, Ramesh Bokriyal Nishank announced last evening. Uh, so I am back with that update for you. Uh, for a long time in fact the students, the parents and the teachers have been waiting uh, since the examination um, had to be postponed uh, due to the outbreak of COVID-19 and uh, the lockdown was clamped. Uh, since then we have been all waiting for some update. Of course CBSC released certain circulars uh, but uh, regarding the uh, commencement of the evaluation there was no mention in those. So um, the education minister has announced that for all the 173 papers uh, that CBSC completed, uh, the evaluation of all those papers will start today, and that is 10th of May. Uh, regarding this, uh, there is a little agitation among the students. Uh, the student community is to some extent worried about the modus operandi of this evaluation, how the evaluation will be conducted whether the same sanctity will be maintained or not um, and that is still uh, to be seen. CBSC also says, uh, uh, the minister informs that uh, for the remaining uh, papers, around 29 papers are remaining, these 29 exams will be held between 1st to 15th July and uh, there will be an effort to complete the evaluation of those papers also soon and then uh, the result will be declared. Uh, only last evening, uh, Mr. Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishang, the Education Minister of India, uh, made an announcement in a small video clip that he released on his Twitter. Uh, he announced that uh, the evaluation of class 10 and 12 board exams will be started today, that's 10th May. Uh, he said that uh, for all the 173 exams that were completed before the lockdown started, uh, for all those papers the evaluation will be started today. And the modus operandi of course will be different. Uh, he announced in that video clip that the question papers, the materials uh, for evaluation will be sent to teachers' homes and uh, probably considering the situation of uh, the outbreak, uh, maintaining the social distancing is uh, important and thinking, the keeping in view uh, that problem, the ministry has decided that uh, this time the evaluation will be done at teachers' homes and after evaluation again the papers will be sent back to CBSC. Uh, that's the summary of the announcement. Uh, of course regarding the modus operandi of uh, evaluation there are questions in the minds of the students because uh, uh, of course all of us know that the evaluation process is something on which uh, depends the students uh, career and their uh, studies their higher studies and all. Uh, the class 10 board examinees uh, have uh, appeared in the first ever public exam, first ever important public uh, examination. Um, as far as class 12 students are concerned, uh, the results uh, will be uh, really crucial for them. So all the students want that the sanctity of the evaluation process be maintained and for that of course the CBSC has to take uh, um, a very important, um, they have to follow a very important strategy. As you can see, uh, the students were active in Twitter and various social platforms. As soon as the uh, announcement was made, the students started reacting. Some of the students have uh, written in the tweets that uh, this decision should be revoked because uh, the uh, this evaluation process will not be uh, a very very student friendly they think because uh, sans any monitoring without any monitoring system in place how the evolution process will 
uh, be completed uh, with the required amount of carefulness, um, the required amount of transparency uh, that, uh, that will be uh, definitely uh, to be seen, uh, that is definitely to be seen. So, uh, however, uh, the minister has uh, thanked uh, the Home Ministry for allowing this to happen and uh, mm, he also thanks the Prime Minister for uh, mentioning all the seven points regarding the norms of uh, social distancing and other things and uh, he thanks the, the Prime Minister for guiding the whole nation in, in its comeback against the uh, outbreak of Corona. Uh, he, of course, uh, encourages the students to prepare properly at home for the remaining exams. And, of course, it is to be seen, um, we, we are keeping our fingers crossed regarding the evaluation process we hope that CBSC will take due measures, due care uh, in completing this evaluation uh, properly. Uh, this time CBSC, of course, um, took various measures even before the exam began uh, to conduct the whole uh, exam and evaluation process in a very systematic manner. For that, CBSC conducted various workshops and uh, webinars and uh, they took, uh, we have seen that they have taken a lot of steps uh, under the leadership of the chairman. And we, this time, uh, we all the teachers this time expected that the whole examination and the evaluation procedure uh, would be really exemplary um, and perfect. Um, even in the last evaluation process, um, CBSC could reduce a lot of errors because uh, because of uh, its new system of evaluation but due to the coronavirus uh, outbreak uh, due to the covid-19 outbreak the whole thing had to be um, rescheduled then um, replanned of course whatever cbsc planned in advance uh, would not work now will not uh, cannot work uh, in the present situation so CBSC has to think, rethink, um, and replan. In such a situation, let us let us see how everything goes on, and we all the stakeholders, teachers, parents, um, and the students, we we are looking forward to a very transparent and. Uh, uh, a very transparent, a very systematic evaluation even in the best possible solution uh, in this particular situation uh, so that the students uh, so that the students do not face any trouble in future and um, justice can be done to the evaluation process uh, so that nobody is at loss. Mm -hmm. Due care in evaluation should be taken, the teacher should show professionalism. Uh, this is the right time for the teachers also to put into practice the best values uh, of professional ethics uh, into work and as teachers community uh, we need to set up a good example before the nation by doing justice to this work uh, because we know that CBSE is also um, hand-tied so uh, there are so many things we cannot do in such a situation so what best is possible in this situation and a lot of responsibilities lie on the teachers and the teachers need to um, do the work uh, perfectly doing justice to their work so that uh, students uh, future uh, the students interest is protected uh, the hard work that they did in preparing for the examination, um, all is taken care of. Let us do our best in such a situation. Uh, so thank you very much for watching the video and I want you to come back again. Please uh, subscribe, share and comment on my channel uh, for more updates on CBSC and uh, I bring to you educational videos, uh, English grammar videos and definitely the activities related to uh, students and teachers.